I am not claiming ownership of any of the material in this video. It is for instructional purposes only. All rights go to their respected owners. Hello, this is JAC Soccer Dude 3 back with another iPhone video. This video is going to feature Dashboard X. It is a video where you can put, or a tweak where you can put widgets on your dash or your springboard of your iPhone. Um, there is a lot of features you can use with this tweak, and um, you can download it from the Big Boss repo for I believe one ninety nine or ninety nine cents. And to add a widget, you bring the apps into wiggle mode, and then you hold on an open blank spot. You hold for a long time and this window will pop up. In this window you select any widget you can add into Notification Center and you can make it Interaction or Auto Center On and then you just hit Add and a second later it will pop up. With SB Settings there is a known glitch where the um, buttons right here, Brightness, does not work. I do not know why and neither does processes or fast notes. Wi-Fi as you can see turns the Wi-Fi off goes to my 4G network and you see Bluetooth will turn on if you click that for some reason brightness that one where it needs a new pop-up to come up it does not work but other than that it works beautiful SB settings and interactive you can see um, how you can move it one side to side and you can actually hit the buttons. If you have interactive off, you will not be able to. This one is just a battery one, just so it shows you a bunch of info about your battery. Um, I'll add another one, it's called Dash Tweet. And this one is a dollar add on if you have the Dashboard X installed. And what it does is a quick way to compose a tweet. It has your little at and your pound symbol in the keyboard, so it's quick to tag your friends or tag, I guess, just something. And uh, you can change the color of the font in settings. I'll show that a little bit later. And then to tweet, all you do is hit the bird on the far right. It shows you your character count on the left over there. And it's 140 characters, which is standard for Twitter. And yeah, you can change interactive off if you do not want to have any an accidental click if you're scrolling over pages. And also, if you place this on top of other apps and have interaction off, you can still click behind it. As you can see there, how my weather widget's on top but in between. You can still click the apps behind it, so it won't take up extra space on your springboard. Um, under Dashboard X, there's a lot of settings. You can long tap to edit mode. There's other ways to bring up the edit mode of Dashboard X. And you can use activator methods if you have activator installed. Other than that, um, you just long tap to edit pretty quick. The double tap slider bar is for how quick you must tap for it to dismiss. You can use any activator me method you have installed. You can install extras if you need to. And you have enabled and disabled widgets for ones you don't want to have on your screen. Or if one fails, you can remove it from here. Um, there's a more widgets if you want to see any other widgets. And then to change your text color in Dash Tweet, you just click it and hit Apply. It will respring your um, device, so be cautious and if you're doing something important. Um, we track data is another dashboard X tweak and it's actually really cool. You can see right here it's also for notification center and it just tells you how much data you've used. You tell it how much you have when your billing cycle restarts and it pretty much does the rest. Um, and it will change it automatically in dash or not dash tweet um dashboard x it'll automatically change it if you change the settings right here and um hope you guys like this video don't forget to comment rate like and subscribe below